eight ball in the side pocket. Do people in your organization have permission to play? Hey, do you remember when you were a kid and uh, you ended up getting great Christmas presents? I don't know if you're like me, but the whole gang of us in our neighborhood, we ended up playing with a big refrigerator box that somebody left out by the curb. Our imagination took over and we built it into a fort. Play is synonymous with creativity and creativity drives innovation. Do people feel like they have permission to fail in your organization? Have you reduced the fear that goes along with that failure to allow them to take those risks? Give them a chance to play. Some of the best organizations in the world, the real elites in innovation like Google, yeah, they have pool tables in their break rooms and all. You don't necessarily have to do that, but it tells their employees something. that It's okay to get out of the grind and let your imagination work like a kid again, to be creative and have playful fun. I've worked with companies all over, all over the country that, uh, that do very sophisticated engagement surveys with their employees, which are wonderful if people act on the results. But I can tell you, I can walk into an organization and just listen to the, whether there's laughter and people being happy, uh, the sounds of, the, of people engaged in meetings, or even the expression on people's faces as you walk by them in the hallways to really know how healthy they are as an organization. If they're healthy, if they have that feeling of uh, freedom and happiness, chances are that they're taking more risks. If they're taking more risks, they're driving innovation and getting better results. Do people have permission to play in your organization? I would encourage you to make it happen.